that they're getting like chopped off there. So, okay. Um, so what we're talking about now is a, a new category of verb. Um, all the verbs that we've seen so far are, are verbs with act, whose first principal part is the active voice, and um, and they have a series of principal parts, the six that you all know. Um, but there's a large class of verbs in Greek and, um, that are not have no active voice, basically. Um, the, the grammatical term that's used to describe them is deponent, D-E-P-O-N-E-N-T, -E -E okay? It comes from the Latin verb deponere, which means to put aside, as though they, they, they once had active forms, but they put mm -hmm. them aside. <laughs> um, that's not it's historically accurate. Um, there are, in, in the Indian European languages, you can show that there are a group of these verbs, and very interesting and very old verbs, that have never had any active voice. Um, and it has to do with the way the meaning of the, of the middle voice. Remember when I, I gave you a list of the verbs that are only middle, when we were talking about the middle voice last year? Uh, last spring, um, that's there at those kinds of verbs. So, um, what we're talking about, therefore, is um, middle only verbs, okay? Um, and there are the book divides them into two types. The difference between them is only a matter of form, and you're missing an accent there. Oh. Sorry, um, the the, mic sees the first, the first. The, <laughs> And notice that you're not going to have a perfect active or an, or for, for these verbs because they're middle only. That's why there's no fourth principal part. But what, the difference between the one in the first column and the one in the second column is that the one in the first column has an aorist middle. Okay, that's number three, an exomene. And the one in the second column has an, what looks formally like an aorist passive. But it has no aorist middle, okay, and it has no third principal parts. So this is basically two types of. There are two types of deponent verbs, exemplified by by this uh, distinction. There are those which have an aorist middle form but no aorist passive, and there are those in which there is no aorist middle form but the aorist passive functions as a middle form. That's the tricky part. It's not that the verb bulamai means to want, okay? So bulamai means I want, and bulesamai means I will want, and babulamai means I have wanted, and abulethe means I wanted in the aorist. It doesn't mean I was wanted, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so the, there's, there's effectively no way to do a passive of a middle only verb, okay? Um, that's, that's, that's the basic idea here. Um, so you got to watch out for this in the principal parts. You learn them as principal parts. It's not that that difficult to deal with. Okay, it's just some verbs have an aorist passive principal part which functions as its aorist. Some deponent verbs have that, and some have a no aorist passive but an aorist middle form that functions as its aorist. Okay. Um, all right. The the third item in this category is that there are some verbs. And there is one in this lesson, the verb akuo, which means to hear. Um, the principal parts of akuo go like this. Akuo is the first one. It means I am hearing or I hear. The second one is akusamai. Okay, all of a sudden, it's middle in the future. And then the aorist is akusa, and so forth. And worry about the other principal parts later on. But there are some verbs like this in which you have... Um, just one of the four principal, of the six principal parts, and that's it's usually the future. Mm -hmm. That's middle. Okay, um, yeah, that's the only one that really we're talking about. There are verbs that have um, deponent in the future and have no active form in the future. It has to do with the relationship between the notion of middleness and what future originally meant, which is you may you, you may recall, man, I want to do something rather than I will do something. Mm -hmm. So it would have bolder characteristics that are appropriate, I think, to the fundamental meaning of the word. But be that as it may, that's, a, that's a, an item. Okay, there are some verbs, this is the item, there are some verbs that have a future middle, even though the rest of the verb is active. Okay. All right.